let's see what I found on AliExpress for one dollar today. This module, and it's a tiny one, and it's a chip. And what is it? It's a 3.7 volts to 9 volts, 5 volts, 2 amperes DC to DC step up boost module and 8650 lithium battery charging, discharging board with type C DC booster converter module. All that in this tiny module that cost one dollar. I order two of them and of course I receive them. Oh no bubbles. Sorry. two of them and I, will, I split them and why this module it's so tiny and special and I hate stickers take a look how impossible is to remove it come on oh Dun, 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 dun. And yes, my solar turntable where you can see this module in 360 degrees while I'm reading the specifications. Very small board but giving um, many functions. First is one ampere programmable linear charging current. Alright. Next is input voltage can be from 3.7 to 6.5 volts and the output voltage can be adjusted from 4.2 to 28 volts, maximum power 5 watts. Here is the table how you can change the resistor for charging current. Let's say if you use 5 kilo ohm resistor, it will charge with 250 milliampers, and right now is set on 1 ampere. And we, we have a tiny potentiometer for adjusting the, the output voltage. All right, time for testing. So on the board we have type C connector that is for input power for charging the, the battery. We have the market places where the battery goes, battery negative, battery positive, and this one is output negative and positive. Also we have two LEDs right here for indicating charging or fully charged and one small potentiometer for adjusting the output voltage we, oh also we have wow where are you going don't want to be tested we're gonna see that we have behind the board also points for output voltage and for input voltage for battery terminals and output voltages all right all right I'm gonna solder some wires and do the experiment. But before testing, let me say thanks to Danny from Belgium who, who for second time is support me with coffee and he wrote, your videos are ruining me. <laughs> I can't stop ordering the items you future. I'm joking. Of course, please don't stop inspiring me to learn a little more every day. Thank you, uh, Danny from Belgium. And let me tell you something else. I received a couple of comments where someone or more people says that I'm working for, for AliExpress. It's not true. Uh, I buy my the stuff by my with my own money and I, I place links below so you can check it. And if you buy from those links, I, I get few cents. That is nothing. But let me explain. I find only cheap gadgets on AliExpress that cost one dollar, two or five dollars. What do you think? What is better to spend five dollars on coffee that will be it will be disappear in minutes or spending five dollars for module that you can play all day and experiment and testing and learning something new? What do you say? Please comment below. Is it good? 
to spend money for electronics or modules like this one or spend money on smoking cigarettes or I don't know everyday coffees that cost five ten dollars I don't know what do you think I am right or not okay in my hands I'm holding 18650 batteries connected in series so that way I will get more capacity 3.7 volts two wires connected to the board where it says B negative and B positive that is the input power for the board and also I, I solder two wires for output voltage okay and first I will test the charging let's see with how much current is charging the battery okay we have a red light meaning charging and you can see that it's pulling 500 milliampers because the battery is almost full and that is okay all right today selection is the zoe zt703 multimeter with color screen beautiful so i can monitor the voltage hooking up on the on the module and let's see it's giving 4.4 volts and that is the lowest po lo lowest point that you can set on this module and let's with adjusting on that tiny potentiometer that i mentioned you can adjust the output voltage now i will go a little bit more why I can turn or oh, now take a look I can adjust the output voltage 6 and what is the maximum in the description it says 28 volts yes 28 volts output voltage hmm I'm gonna set to 10 volts so we I can test the current and the real power of this thing. All right. Beautiful. This is my testing device that I also get I get from AliExpress. I think it was 10 US dollars and it's an electronic load that can handle 35 watts maximum with LCD display and also it have a fan for cooling. You can attach on USB devices or with the connector. I'm gonna hook it up the this today module, which is DC DC booster and charger for 18650 batteries. Let come on, man. Let's open this thing. Can you see it? Okay. So we have a 10 volts output from this module that is given. It says it's 5 watts. Right now the current is set on 30, 0.3 amperes. I'm gonna hit on and it's delivering 300 milliampers. And I'm gonna change that. Right now we are at let's see when will that voltage will drop right now 450 and that is 4.3 watts right now the module is giving 5 volts and we're gonna test does it give 1 amper hitting run we are pulling 500 milliampers let's go to 1 amper 700 800 milliampers 900 and one amper is giving one amper and that is 5.1 watt, watt and as it says in description that's, that this module is 5 watts beautiful let's go a little bit more and will it turn it turn off when the voltage drops 1.2 amperes and yes the voltage dropped to 4.96 let's little bit more oh, here 
you go one volt. It have a protection also. Remember that. Beautiful. I love it. And right now is giving five volts. I'm gonna go to 1.2 amperes and see one more time. Yes, it's giving 1.2 amperes. Six watts. Beautiful. So this tiny board, it is a charger for lithium batteries and maximum charging current is one ampere and it's a DC converter, converter, sorry, adjustable from 4.4 volts to 28 volts. Nice. And it's small. I like sm small things. Okay, that was all for today's video. Please give a like, share and subscribe to my channel. One dollar. One coffee or one module.